Hello and welcome to episode 2.1 of my Homeworld series playthrough. Before we begin, allow me to explain how my channel works and why things might look a little weird. I'm Skid and this channel is primarily dedicated to gaming on a triple monitor setup. That's using technologies such as N ah, NVIDIA Surround and AMD Infinity to create one large display area out of multiple monitors. In my case we are creating a 5760 by 1080 display area from three 1080p monitors. Uh, this is a resolution or an aspect ratio of 48 to 9. Now because I know this is very much a niche, I release all of my videos in two formats, a 48 by 9 one and the cropped 21 by 9 one that you are currently watching. Uh, because of this, elements of the UI will be rendered off screen, but I will do my best to make sure important hull elements are moved on screen while editing. Likewise, I will try to keep whatever I'm doing on my middle monitor. Uh, the aspect ratio of the video is in the upper left hand corner of the thumbnail, the first part of the video title, and additionally at the start of the video there will be text at the bottom of the video telling you which one you are watching and that the other one exists. You will also find the sibling video in a card four seconds into the video, which I will put up now for this one, uh, or in the video description. So if you're curious about what I'm actually looking at, you can find it there. Now it's time to stitch these two intros back together. Welcome again to episode 2.1 of my Homeworld series playthrough. Uh, before we begin we need to go over my history with the series and uh, this game's multi-monitor support. Um, but you will always find timestamps in the seek bar in the video description to skip around um, if you want. So, as I've said in the previous two um, intros in this particular series of playthroughs, um, Homeworld 2 is the game I started with. Um, it was probably one of the first games I bought for myself on my PC, and I very much remember it fondly. Um, it has been uh, over a decade since I've last played it, but I still remember the last level vividly, um, and I remember multiple parts of the story going through, even if I don't necessarily remember so, like, specific objectives and things like that. Um, after this one, we obviously went on to... Um, Deserts of Crack, and we've just recently finished um, Homeworld 1. Um, because it's the remaster, I will mention this in this one since it technically follows on directly from the last episode of the previous series. Um, the issue I think I was having with that final level may have actually been a result of a change they made in the remastered version. Apparently, I'm going off third party reports for this, they added fleet scaling in to certain levels in Homeworld 1, which never had fleet scaling in it. Um, now the idea of this is pretty reasonable. The idea is that the level will be scaled, or the size of the enemy fleet will be scaled to the fleet that you brought with you to try to maintain a level of difficulty. The problem is of course Homeworld 1 wasn't designed for this. Um, so when we brought in an excessive amount of ships into the last level, it overcomp or it compensated by increasing the size of the enemy fleet. But because the level was never designed for you to have that size fleet in the first place, um, it doesn't factor in the fact that the fleet I brought in is half a mile off to the left hand side and will never reach our mothership in time to defend it. So that's why we was having problems. We think um, I. Th I don't know whether or not the original game or Homeworld 2 had fleet scaling, but I never had a problem, um, too big a problem with this game. I think my biggest failing in this game is failing to complete side objectives. I can't remember if I failed the last level due to the secondary objective in that, or whether I just came bloody close um, on my first playthrough. But either way, that's my experience. As with the multi-monitor support, um, it's exactly the same because it's running basically the same engine um, as with the previous iteration of the remaster. You can play the original versions, but we're going to be playing the remaster just because it's glowed up. Um, so resolution is selectable by default. Um, the aspect ratio is horizontal plus. The UI is spanned in places and most of the time it's scaled, but it is... Um, not or it isn't stretched um only menus like this are actually stretched and even then the text is the right size it's just the actual size of the menu itself that's a problem um so it shouldn't be a problem playing um more or less the support should be identical to homeworld one remaster because again they're basically running the same engine so let's start this all again it crashed <laughs> well 
I suppose general failure, that's very nice of it. Um, I know that this does work because we I did watch the an intro cutscene just to make sure, before I even started recording any of the series, just to make sure it did in fact do what it's supposed to do. I wasn't recording at the time. Um, let me just make sure I don't have anything running in the background that shouldn't be there. No, we did close down everything before we started. Okay. Attempt number two. Oh, that's not good. What do you not like? What are you taking exception to? Let's get rid of Discord. I shouldn't, well, we shouldn't have any issue with us recording because, again, same engine as the previous iteration. If it crashes again this time, I will restart the computer and then we, you will join me at the start of the intro cutscene. If at first you don't succeed. No, okay, I'll be right back. Not sure what it was. I swapped it back from full screen to window to full screen again. It's the only thing I did. It didn't actually work after initial restart. But it appears to be working now. First time, the great hyperspace core was found. With it came the gift of interstellar travel, and the El Harim trade routes were established, uniting the galaxy in peace. thousand years passed before the second core was discovered on a desert planet. Pain and bloodshed flowed in its wake. But the exiles returned to their homeworld, Higara. A young woman led them across the galaxy, and it is she who will lead them again. Her name is Karen Sajet. This is the story of the end time. We know this because the third core has been found. Under the dark influence of this core, the Taidan have risen under a new leader, a Vega warrior lord named Makan. He calls himself the Sajukar, the Chosen One. Many systems have already fallen under his shadow, and his eyes are set upon Higara. Deep inside the great derelict at Tanis, construction of a new mothership is underway. The pride of Higara. Once more, the exiles will face the coming darkness. This is Fleet Command. Stand by for hyperspace core transfer. Containment unit online. All power signatures in the green. Primary couplings released. Trajectory is good. The hyperspace core is away. This is Tannis Control. We have visual contact with the core. Proceed with transfer. 
trajectory and alignment confirmed. Take it to 115 and initiate capture procedures. recognizes the core and confirms signal lock. Fleet command online. Mothership status report. Engineering online. Stand by to initiate engine sequence. Test complete. All standard drives are operational. Navigation online. The mothership is standing by. Setting drives to idle. This is fleet intelligence. Our task is to analyze sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before launching the mothership, we must conduct a series of trials to ensure all critical systems are operational. Throughout these trials, the mothership will be running with a minimal crew and will remain docked with Tannis. Once these trials are complete, we will launch the mothership and test the hyperspace core. The first trial will test the resourcing system. A resource collector is standing by. Begin retrieval of resource containers at this location. Okay, looks like we have much the same issues in regards to the UI, but we basically expect Ready. that. Collection confirmed. Standing by. Resourcing systems fully operational. Trial successful. We will now test the mothership's production capabilities. Begin construction of a fighter facility subsystem. Okay, and this is the principal change between this game and the last one. Subsystems. Um, basically anything that is designed, or uh, rather than simply having all of our abilities to produce everything just there at the start. We need to add subsystems to our capital ships to allow them to do things. Now, in terms of the mothership, that doesn't matter. There's basically a slot for every subsystem you can fit on it. But other capital ships, like battleships, um, you have to make a choice um, because they will often have more subsystems than you can equip to them. So you may want to have a hyperspace um, system, but you may not have the space to also then have a cloak dra uh, cloaking uh, system on it. Production underway. And I think immediately on the second level, it might be the second or the third level, we'll be given our second production facility, which is basically, I think it's called a shipyard. Um, the shipyard is the only thing that can build our battleships. Um, and I think maybe one or two other capital ships. We can produce some here, but we certainly don't have the space on the Higawa to build battleships. Ah, yes, we can actually build defense platforms this time around. Sensor subsystems, modular subsystems. Mothership fighter facility complete. Fighter facility subsystem complete. Engineering is online and ready for fighter production. To test basic combat capabilities, construct an interceptor squadron. I'm going to construct production two. Underway. Actually, I'm going to construct production four. Underway. 
I think we still have a decent number of resources, and I know we're going to need more of them than just the one. Because obviously, things are not going to stay all nice and happy. Something's going to go wrong. We already know the Vega Warlord is on um, said sites in Hagara, and Hagara is not strictly speaking where we are, but we are nearby Hagara at the minute, I believe, in a galactic map point of view. Interceptor Squadron complete. And yeah, the ship or well, these come out. Stand by to begin combat trials. As a pre-made squadron rather than individual ships. Perimeter Station Chimera will assist by providing target drones. The drones are located here. Use the interceptors to destroy the target drones. Okay. So, we select our squadron, and as usual, I think the control is still the same. Control plus drag will tell them to attack everything. But look at these little fighters. Interceptor squadron complete. Reporting. Oops, I didn't want to add them to group two. I wanted to add them to Ready. group one. Group one designated. Strike group to battle positions. Attention Tannis Control, this is Perimeter Station Chimera. We have multiple unidentified units detected. Signal indicates Vager Bomber Strike Force. They've actually taken away our control of them. Um, or our control in general, we can't issue an attack. Which is something we could have done in the previous version. Chimera Base, this is Blue Leader. Enemy units locked in, awaiting orders. Tannis is under attack. All forces to combat alert. This is not a test. Interceptors have been launched from Chimera. The enemy must be eliminated. Order all interceptors to destroy the Vager bombers. Okay, let's get some more out then. Um, I think we're good to. Production underway. Group one has defeated the enemy. Strike group, prepare for assault. Group one, assigned. Group one, report to the Docking underway. Chimera station is offline. The Vager have breached the Tannis perimeter. The mothership is under attack. We cannot stay here any longer. Emergency launch underway. Stand by for emergency launch. Roger that, Tannis. Primary couplings released. The mothership has cleared Tannis. We are away. Multiple enemy reinforcements detected. Estimated time before contact, two minutes. Begin construction of attack bombers immediately. Bombers will be required to defend the mothership. Okay. We only have enough resources for one of them. And I think we've used up all of the resources. Group one reporting. Let's 
fine. Strike group, prepare for assault. Okay, we'll have bombs in a second. Look. Group 2, designated. Supporting friendly units. Strike group, prepare for assault. Group 1, reporting. Mothership fighter facility, under attack. Group 2, copies. Oh, can you not attack Point that off. specifically? That's very bad for me. Supporting friendly units. Not lose that particular thing. Okay. Group one. Strike group coordinates locked in. Strike group coordinates locked in. Group one. Uh, they're all healthy. We don't need to worry too much about that. Group one. Resource collector awaiting orders. Priority Strike alert. To battle positions. The Vega are group using two. hyperspace gates. If they are not destroyed, the enemy will deploy reinforcements through them. These gates must be destroyed. Group one. Group one, standing by. Strike group attack order confirmed. Group two. Finish off this one. Group one copies. Strike group, prepare for assault. We just leave it almost dead. The objective is kill it, so kill it. Friendly under fire, moving in. Gate destroyed. Destroy all the remaining hyperspace gates. Group one, standing by. Strike group, prepare for assault. Strike group attack order confirmed. Group two copies. Strike group, prepare for assault. Strike group to battle positions. Oh, they, they are they are chipping away at it. They didn't look like they was doing enough or any damage at all. Signals converging on Tannis. All ships initiate docking procedures and stand by for hyperspace. has been destroyed. The Vega have launched a massive invasion. The Garan outposts are falling all across the inner rim. The crew of the mothership is making an emergency departure. 
planetary defense systems are standing by. Before we can mount a counterattack, we must rendezvous with the mothership's crew. We will exit hyperspace in the shadow of the Angel Moon. A rally point has been established at this location. Prepare for enemy contact. The mothership is on its way. We're going to make it. Bishop 1 to all transports. Report status. Bishop 2, standing by. This is Bishop 3. We've taken some hits. Two bulkheads down. We'll be alright. Bishop 4, standing by. Bishop 5, standing by. Bishop 6, reporting unidentified contacts. Get ready for company. Hyperspace jump successful. The core is operating at full capacity. We made it. We have reached the Hagaran system. Vega forces are being reported in all sectors. They will know we have arrived. Six crew transports are inbound to dock with the mothership. A Vega carrier has been detected in the area. The transports are under attack and require immediate assistance. At least four transports must dock with the mothership to meet minimum crew requirements. Okay. Scouts aren't going to help us here. Do we have access to resource collectors? We Recommend do. construction of additional resource collectors to increase harvesting efficiency. Way ahead of you, game. Uh, bombers aren't going to help as much, but let's move them into a more Strike group into a better position. Okay, we've got seven thousand RUs nearby. Some of the field is slightly further up. I'd love to do something about the carrier, but we do not have fleet capables. Acknowledged. Resources downrange. Roger. Collection confirmed. Group one copies. Strike group attack stop. confirmed. Oh, why have they gone to passive? Stay sharp. Show no mercy. Group one copies. Group one has defeated the enemy. Strike threat eliminated. Transport Bishop one is safe. Ready. Group 10 designated. Group 2. Strike group moving. I don't necessarily want to ping it too soon because it's going to have defenses and I don't want to be messing with them. Strike I would like to see blocking. when they start moving. Mothership. Look, we can move the mothership! Let's move it slightly mothership. closer to the resources. Resource collector complete. Engine systems running at minimal capacity. Engine performance at 20%. Okay. You're the new Roger. one. Resources downrange. The Vega carrier is launching reinforcements. Use bombers to destroy the carrier's fighter facility. This will prevent it from sending further reinforcements. I would love to, but I only have one set of bombers. Group 1 reporting. Threat eliminated. Transport Bishop 2 is safe. Where is your resource drop-off engines? There we go. Subsystem target acquired. Let's 
see if we can't get ourselves a second Control transport bombs. docked. Subsystem and engineering personnel transferring. The mothership now has additional construction capabilities. Corvette facility available for construction. And we need the resources first. Group one, strike group to battle positions. Strike group under enemy attack. We've got a situation here. Group one standing by. Strike group, prepare for assault. Heavy fire confirmed. Uh, can I have... Strike group, prepare I need to split assault. this off. Reporting. Bombers Vega fighter facility destroyed. The carrier can no longer build reinforcements. Docking with threat eliminated. Transport Ready. Bishop Three Group two, is safe. Reinforced. Combat stations look sharp. Reporting. Roger. Confirmed. Hyperspace signature detected. Eh. Frigates to attack the transports. Some appear to be equipped with heavy anti fighter weaponry. Group one standing by. Roger. Acknowledged. We got given additional fighters. That's helpful. Roger. Strike group attack order confirmed. Group two reporting. Confirmed. Okay, um, let's get the Corvette figure facility up. Acknowledged. Collection confirmed. Group 1 has defeated the enemy. Group 2 reporting. Strike Threat group eliminated. to battle position. Transport Bishop 5 is safe. Strike group coordinates locked in. Group 1 reports enemy contact. Strike group under enemy Okay, attack. you go repair. Group 1 standing by. Docking with mothership. Taking damage, please. So long as we have at least one ship left in a fleet. Receiving transmission from Hagarin Defense Grid. Allied forces are arriving. of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. I remember you. Looks like you can use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Okay. With the help of Captain Soban, we should be able to save the rest of the transport. Corvette subsystem complete. Gunship Corvettes now available for construction. These ships are effective when used against fighter class vessels. Threat eliminated. Transport Bishop 4 is safe. Group 2 standing by. Group Transport Bishop 4 sustaining critical damage. Send interceptors immediately to defend Bishop 4. Group 1 reporting. Damn it, we did lose a fleet. Standing by. Roger. Docking with mothership. Supporting friendly units. Copy. Strike group prepare for assault.
That's all of them. Ready for order. Group two. Roger. Docking with mothership. Acknowledge. The Vega frigates have been destroyed. Pulsar gunships now available for construction. These ships are effective when used against Corvette class vessels. Production underway. Standing by. Reporting. Group one. The Vager carrier is retreating. It must be destroyed before it can escape. Group two standing by. Okay. Confirmed. Let's slightly change things up. Let's put you in group two. Designated. Keep all the fighters in group Boarding. one. Group one designated. Acknowledged. Oh, we have an extra fleet of bombers. Where do they come from? Designated. They can immediately help. Um, take out its engines, please. Yep. Target acquired. Group 2, standing by. Subsystem attack confirmed. You are clear to dock. Standing by. Okay, you're the pad medic. Subsystem medi. attack confirmed. Pulsar gunship squadron complete. Copy. Okay, let's put you on four. Group 4, designated. Group 1, copy. Uh, Attacking you please keep ship. going in on the pair. Standing by. Group two. Attacking capital ship. Standing by. Group three. Capital ship locked in. Group three copies. Engage capital ship. Group one copies. I forget whether or not we can override the um, formation. We can. We can give them a bigger formation. Your formation acknowledged. Group two assigned. Your formation acknowledged. Group three reinforced. Engage capital ship. Confirmed. Group four copies. Capital ship locked in. New formation acknowledged. Search module. We've not been. Uh, oh, we have. Oh, it's already been built. We haven't been asked to use it yet, though, have we? No. Group three has defeated the enemy. Group one reporting. Coordinates confirmed. The main has been destroyed. Group three standing by. Local resources exhausted. Fleet moving on. Group one standing by. Fleet, this is Captain Soban. The homeworld system will soon be overrun by Vega forces. Their objective is to capture the mothership. You must get the pride of Higara out of here. The enemy will follow, and in doing so, you will buy the homeworld some time. Soban, out. Captain Soban's mission will be to track down the location of the Vega leader. His fleet has been dispatched. He will remain in contact with us. Okay. Mothership. Group one standing by. Docking with mothership. Group two. Group four copies. Let's increase resource operations a little bit more while we have the opportunity. Production underway. Let's also have a look at our unit caps. Okay, we are effectively three more squadrons away from capping out um, our fighters. I can't remember whether or not additional fighter facilities increases that, or whether that's just a fixed limit. Group one reporting. Resource collector complete. Group three reporting. Scouts are used. Crew transport docked. Research staff and science teams transferring. New research options available. Ah, yeah, just straight up upgrades. I forgot about this. Um, me as well. Let's 
movement speed. Resource collector complete. Mothership defense and movement speed. Collectors defense. We'll just increase the movement speed of our um, of these ones for the time being. Group two copies. Let's Resource collector awaiting get order. Another Production set underway. of bombers. We'll leave us with ten spare that we can use later. We may increase bombers to thirty. Group one standing by. Group three. Group two reporting. Upgrade complete. All our resources looking like. This IU field is done. Standing by. Group 10 reinforced. Collection confirmed. Okay, so the only RUs left are the ones over here. I wonder if I made um, docking slightly Bomber harder for these ships. Underway. Bomber squadron complete. We've not been told we can leave. Roger. Group 3, reinforced. New formation acknowledged. Group 1 copies. New Ooh. formation acknowledged. New formation acknowledged. New formation I think we are better. Uh, the bombers, we may actually want to put in just a big wall. Acknowledged. Let's see whether or not this game remembers this deeper. setting. Keep your eyes peeled. Group 1, defensive perimeter set. New formation acknowledged. New formation acknowledged. New formation acknowledged. Group 4 reporting. Group 2 standing by. Group 4 reporting. New formation acknowledged. Uh, we'll set them to evasive though. Um, Group 2. Group 4 standing by. These want to be gone. evasive by default because they don't Crew deal damage. Stopped. Sensor crews transferring. Mothership sensor systems are now operating at full capacity. At ease. Group 1, standing by. Group 4. Okay. We'll keep what resources this lot gives us for the next level. But once we have the last two docked, I think we're down to two. Uh, we have Bishop, Bishop 6 still on its way. Then I think we'll be given the option to hyperspace. I don't think it's going to force the matter this time around. Ready. Go meet Bishop Six part way. Do we have any other research available at the minute? I don't think we should do. Nothing yeah. but gravel out here. Just upgrades to um, existing ships. Crew transport docked. Engine and power plant crews transferring. Engine performance increased to normal levels. Four crew transports docked. We have met minimum crew requirements. Okay, yeah. We'll save that remaining resources for the start of the next level. No point burning all of them now, given the fact we're fairly sure we've emptied the map. Resources downrange. Oh! Apparently the game disagrees. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't just want to end the episode here because I can't remember if there's anything additional. Acknowledged. And that's gonna happen. When this thing docks. But no, I think I think we're done. We're just waiting now. Standing by. All right, there was still a few bits of the capital ship, uh, their carrier.
ready. Docking with mothership. Confirmed. Crew transport docked. X5. Elite fighter pilots transferring. Elite bomber squadrons launching from mothership. Squadrons, how many? Two. Ready. Group three. Group three reinforced. New formation acknowledged. Two big old, big old walls of bombers. Interesting. Why do we have um, sixty-two fighters? Group one reporting. Group three. There's nothing left out here. When we had thirty, we have a hundred interceptors, twenty no attack bombers, but we apparently have sixty-two fighters for some reason. Strike group coordinates locked in. Group two copies. Group two reporting. Let's move these Strike out of the way just in case they Strike slow this down. Let's also by. Strike group moving into position. turn the mothership about. Mothership underway. To hopefully allow this thing to dock faster. Resource collector awaiting instructions. No, don't turn that side. Don't turn that side. I'm turning around for your benefit. Mothership underway. There we go. It's figured it out. <laughs> Mothership. I think... We just need to do that. Underway. Ready. Resource collector standing by. Roger. Strike group coordinates locked in. Acknowledged. So what I was saying um, on the last level about um, these facilities, these subsystems, we can see here that the mothership Pride of Hagara has four production or production slots, which is basically enough for each one of these, four module slots, and then one sensor slot. Uh, what's our other module slot? Mothership. We should be able to see it. Resource drop off. Probably this thing. Research module. Okay. Module subsystems will go in here. And then when you get access to any sensor subsystems, they'll be in there. Probes work basically the same they did previously. They are one use things. Crew transport docked. Elite Corvette crews transferring. That's what I thought Elite it was. Elite Corvette squadrons launching from mothership. Three gunships. Said plural. Good. Two sets of three gunships. Crew 
crew transports returning to base. We cannot allow the mothership to fall into enemy hands. Coordinate set for the Serum system. There, we will regroup our forces and mount a counteroffensive. All ships, stand by for hyperspace. Hmm. That's what I thought this game did, and that's a problem. I will have to edit in... Or chop off the end of this video to edit it in at the start of the next one. Okay. So, yeah, hopefully it's not going to do that every single time. Um, but we will... Um, if it does, we will cut out the cutscenes at the end of the previous level and the start of the next one. And I will have to do my outro here. And I'll just chop things around. But yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again on Wednesday. Uh, where we'll continue on from here. So hopefully, we'll see you next time. Cheerio.